Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. As you may know, I have this saying, by their grievances shall ye know them. Uh, you know, basically, you know, if your grievance is some, something harmless, then you're the bad guy. But you know, that concept can be taken a step further. We could also say, by the dates of their grievances shall ye know them. <laughs> and probably I, I uh, would not do well if this uh, concept were aimed against me, because I do uh, tend to bring up a lot of things that happened five or ten years ago. Uh, but anyway, the basic concept here is that the older your grievance is, uh, the less credibility you have. And fortunately, the forces that I am arrayed against, the pro-government or you know pro-authority uh, forces, and that's not quite accurate. The pro-aggression forces, because uh, government isn't necessarily bad. The, let's talk about the pro-aggression forces. The pro-aggression forces love to talk about three grievances. Thalidomide, <laughs> uh, World War II, and maybe uh, uh, chattel slavery. So, for instance, we have to have the FDA uh, killing basically hundreds of thousands of people a year because of thalidomide. It, we might have another thalidomide if we didn't have the FDA doing that. They have to go all the way back to, what was it, the 60s, the 50s, to come up with that one. And because of that one, because thalidomide slipped through the British system or whatever, and there were birth defects, we have to make it so that you must spend 15 years to develop a medication and everyone waiting for that medication must die in the meantime if they if they need it in a terminal sense or because world war 2 because the nazis because the the japanese imperials 70 years ago we have to have 800 military bases around the world you know because of this one incident where the americans were sort of in the right and actually, for once, at risk from a superior force. Uh, this is probably also true in the Cold War. Uh, the Cold well, the Russians had a superior force, the Japanese and Germans didn't. Anyway, because of that long, long, long ago thing, we must give up our freedoms, uh, we have to have ta income tax withholding from our paycheck still, hell hold over for, from World War II. We must, we must love our, uh, you know, our military and support it even when it's doing mostly bad stuff. But my favorite, the one that really goes back the furthest, <laughs> is the tulip bulb grievance. That one goes back so far, it apparently didn't even really happen. I guess according to the Smithsonian Institute, there in fact is no record of anyone ever going bankrupt as a result of this uh, so-called tulip crash. Presumably people did buy and sell tulips back then, but everyone with tulips here, tulips there, they see tulips, every, every crypto is a tulip, every alternate currency is a crypt, is, it's, it's, a, it's a tulip, tulips here, everywhere, I see no, nothing but tulips. It reminds me of that episode of, of The Simpsons, you know, where Lisa did a great job educating everyone to recycle. So Mr. Burns took over the recycling process and turned the recycling into toxic waste and everyone but Lisa you told us to recycle no stop no it, it's the same way it's like but they told me tulips oh but they said civil war slavery but I heard that it's you, the education system does work for some things it definitely does work at brainwashing people and that's one that's nice to see sort of going away is that you know can't have independence because slavery. Well, gradually the concept of se secession has finally become, I think, separated from the concept of the Confederacy. Anyway, if I go to a government uh, meeting and I see someone that I recognize from some wicked deed they committed nine years ago or were associated with, yeah, I, I may ask them about it, but I'm asking them about it because they're a government official, and that means I have a modern grievance, too. And that is that they're continuing to take my money. The date of that grievance is very recent. By the dates of their grievances, shall ye know them. Why does the world look like this? 
Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.